It's been a long week without some brand new homes, but fear not viewers, the wait is over. From the East Coast to across the pond, you're moving in and making new friends with a bevy of stars. First off, bang around Brighton, England with superstar DJ Fatboy Slim in his beautiful beachfront home. Smiley's from all over the world. I've been collecting about 10 years. Kind of sums me up, Mr. Goofy. I've even gone as far as having it made official. Next, pull up to the positively posh Philly residence of the legendary Miss Patti LaBelle. The thing that really makes me feel special is the motorcycle. And I get on this sucker and tear this block up. I ride around the neighborhood. And don't put that passport away, because you're getting some quality time with the boys of BB Mac in this elegant English hideaway. I'll show you some stuff in the refrigerator that you can't get in the States. HP brown sauce. Reef, mango and apple, which you cannot get in America. Who put this in me, friends? <laughs> <laughs> this is very nice on uh, white bread with HP sauce. So flip on that cable box and sink into that lazy boy, because we're taking you into more cribs. Good afternoon. My name is Norman Cook, also known as Fatboy Slim. Welcome to my crib. Except as we're in Brighton, England, we don't call it crib, we call it a house. So come on in. So of course, being the natural show I am, the first thing I like my guests to see when they come round is the trophy cabinet. But this is my personal favourite at the moment. Clayboy, centrefold of the month. And moving over here, just a few from your very good selves. Thank you very much. This is VH1, best video in the world. And uh, I knocked Michael Jackson's thriller off for the first time in five years. So, uh, that's a good one for you, Michael. And, of course, the second thing I like my guests to see, just to get a flavour of what I'm like, is the Smiley Collection. Smiley's from all over the world. I've been collecting about ten years. Portable cigarette lighters, hats, toilet tissue covers. Smiley's, it kind of sums me up, Mr. Goofy. I've even gone as far as having it made official. This is the room that I don't normally like to let strangers see. Being English, we were normally very modest about our achievements. So all my gold discs are put in the laundry room. In England, like if you have all your gold discs down the hall, then all your friends when they come round, they just turn, they go, oh, yeah, you're a pop star, yeah, all right, thanks for rubbing it in. So while I'm doing the ironing, I sit here and go, it's all right, even though I have to do my own ironing and my own laundry, I am a success. I, am, I have done something with my life. And moving to the kitchen. Now, I've watched Cribs, and what everybody always does is come in and says, this is my kitchen, this is where I do all my cooking. So, this is my kitchen, and this is where I do all my cooking. Now, on this side, I have a son called Woody, and this is kind of his area. While we're doing the cooking, he does his playing. But these are little pin-ups of him on the kitchen, just on the fridge, just in case we forget what he looks like. Well, let's see what we've got in the fridge today. Milk, we have Woody's yogurts, half-eaten apple crumble, and some strange drugs. Acid, Dophilis plus. Whatever. My favourite dish to cook is uh, risotto. But that's boring. What you want to see is glamour, drinking. Let's go for the drinking angle next. Come with me. So welcome to Norm's Bar. You want to be where everybody knows your name. Do -do 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 -do. This is obviously a room that I spend a lot of time in. We also have neon Zoe and Norman, which is a wedding present. We also have a chair that's made out of the back end of a Jaguar. And of course, the most important thing, an ashtray where the, where the uh, petrol tank should be. The mural of New York, a bit poignant because the Twin Towers are still in there. It's a strange one, that, a bit poignant. So now we're coming through my bedroom. Please don't look at the bedroom because it's a little bit of a mess. I said don't look at the bedroom, it's a bit of a mess. Through here is one of my favourite rooms in the house, a bath with a view. I spend about an hour of my day in this bath, and what better view to have while you're bathing than this? 
I've been doing this for 15 years, and for 15 years I lived in really grotty old houses. And this house came up, and we just thought, if it's going to be our fantasy house, where we've got a son now, we'll probably live here forever. So have it done how you want. We're going back down the back stairs now, but Woody's asleep, so be very, very quiet, please. Actually, now it's kind of my uh, DJ nerve station. This uh, is where I store all the records that I DJ with. And, of course, no DJ's house would be complete without the set of decks. This is the 70s Boogie Nights end of the pad. Of course, we have the vintage 8-track cartridge, the world-famous bubble seat, which I hope won't fall down when I sit in it. This is the lounge. Books, African heads, and this is uh, me sitting in my lounge watching TV on my big pop star telly. When you get a big telly, you know you've made it. So, if we move out to the hall, there comes a time in your life when you think, I'm a pop star, what do I need? A jukebox. It does work, but it never gets used. It's just one of, it's one of those things, it's like free work, because as soon as you become a pop star, you have to have a jukebox. While I'm sitting on the John, it's always nice to have either lots of magazines to read, but what I like to do is to look at photos of my wedding. It's the nicest thing you can do while you're having a dump. <laughs> look at the happiest day of your life. This is the wedding book. Instead of adult magazines, I read through all the lovely things that all our friends said when we got married. I can't read now because I get my well up. So here we are, Fat Boy Central. Now, a lot of people don't believe that I make all my records at home, but I promise you I do. But here is the mighty Atari, the 909 drum machine, and, of course, no studio is complete without a fat boy. Up here we have inspiration, Richard Cofay, and Meg Ryan, who's a constant source of inspiration, though probably not musical. This is the wall of inspiration. My wife, of course. Sly Stone, my dead grandmother. They're all the things I look at when I'm bored in the middle of the night wondering what to write about. This is the, uh, the records where all the samples come from. All uh, alphabetically and uh, thematically catalogued. Now, when I get bored in the studio, this pole here is a great source of distraction. American people won't know it, but my wife is a very, very famous TV and radio presenter in England. And the night I met her, we were actually in a pole dancing club, and she attempted to use the pole. So, for Christmas, I bought her own personal home pole, which she uh, often entertains me with of an evening. And sometimes I've been known to have a go on it too. And some of the world's finest and most respected DJs have fallen off this pole at some time or other. So there you have it, TV land. You see my house, sorry, my crib. Thanks for being with us. I'll come back soon, you hear? How you doing? I'm Mark from BB Mac, and welcome to my crib. Come in, guys. I got this place about six months ago, uh, mid-October, and I'm still, still not finished yet, as you'll see later on, but uh, I'll show you around. Lads from the band are here. We're just in the middle of recording, writing for the album, so today we just took a few, you know, a few hours out to talk to you guys, and we're just chilling out, playing on the PlayStation. But um, one of my favourite toys in the apartment is this uh, censored Bang & Olsen system. When I had no money, I had one of these. <laughs> <laughs> but now, thanks to the gold disc on the wall, I can afford a Bang & Olsen. The stuff I'm listening to at the moment, um, Eric Benet, A Day in the Life album, great album. D'Angelo, Maxwell, Boyz II Men, BB Mac. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> Took 39 picture frames, 9 inch by 12 inch, and basically got some art paper and painted just different colours to get this effect. It looks great. It's brown. It's brown. <laughs> I'll show you some stuff in the refrigerator that you can't get in the States, such as HP brown sauce, which is very nice, reef, 
mango and apple, which you cannot get in America. Uh, hold on a minute. You put this in my fridge. <laughs> <laughs> this is very nice on uh, white bread with HP sauce. So the good thing about this kitchen, a lot of things are hidden, such as the washing machine, which uh, I don't really do much of the washing. Yeah, there you go. This is my favourite thing in the apartment. It's a gold disc. You know, we worked really hard to get this. A full year's work in America. And uh, we're waiting, still waiting for the platinum disc. It's not been made yet. OK, I'll take you into the bedroom. OK, this is the uh, bedroom. I don't need to go into too much detail of what happens in here, but after a, a long year's tour... It needs fixing because the bed's fallen to bits. And you come over here, the view that I've got at the moment is, uh, it could be better. There's still, there's going to be houses built over there. It's all development, it's all work in progress. But uh, I haven't got a pool. As you can see, the lake over there is the closest thing to the pool. And uh, this is the chair, very comfy indeed. And actually, I'll just show you, this is uh, me and my fiance, Nicola. She's lovely indeed. So this other room is the uh, the bathroom. It's not very big, but it's it's big enough for washing yourself. There was going to be a bath here originally, but I thought just for space and you know the shower. I like to be woke up in the morning and have a cold shower sometimes or a cool shower, and a bath just makes me feel tired. And there's the bathroom. Okay, so I'll take you upstairs. As you can see, it's not yet done. I'm going to be getting a plasma screen on this wall here, and we're going to be getting a table here. Just, just fill the room up, basically. This is kind of like where, where me and the lads jam, write a few songs, got myself a little eight track. That's all you need for doing demos, basically. Congas, which I'm learning to play. Anyway, I'll show you the uh, awards. This award was given to us in 2000, the most performed song by an English artist in America. ASCAP Award for the single back here, which I know a lot of you guys will know was a big hit for us. My mother actually done this for me for my birthday. And she put all the music to back here on the frame. Looks really nice. That's going to go above the piano. OK, Cribs, well, we're going to leave you now in the fire of the apartment, but thank you for a great day. We're going to go now and carry on playing on the PlayStation, so we'll see you all soon. See you later. Hi, I'm Patty LaBelle. Welcome to my spot, my home, my whatever, my crib, my place. Come on in. Okay, you're in my spot. I look for beauty when I'm looking for art. I sometimes don't know what it means or what it says or what it, whatever. I just know if it feels good to me, I'm going to buy it. I'm not uh, one of those people who says I'm a collector and I know what every piece in this house is. I have no clue, okay? I just know if it's cute or not. This is my birthday corner. Today is my birthday. I'm 58 years young. I got a lot of gifts from friends, and I guess I'm going to get some more. I'm not sure. But it was a very pleasant surprise to get these gifts. This is my chandelier that I broke the other night. I was doing the ghetto shuffle. I was throwing a pillow from the third floor down to the basement because in the basement is where I watch TV, and I didn't want to bring it down. I said, I'll just drop it down. I dropped it and broke one of the arms off of the chandelier, but you can't even tell that it's missing, can you? You just can't be ghetto when you're trying to get your sleep on. So just bring the pillow down, carry it down like a lady, okay? Don't throw it. I'm gonna take you to my dining room. I hardly ever use it because I have a kitchen. These are three of my <laughs> six dogs. This is my sister Vivian, my sister Barbara, my sister Jackie. They all died of cancer. And I think that we should 
not take our lives for granted. We shouldn't think that tomorrow is promised to us because it's not. There are a lot of things that I wish I had said to my sisters when they were living that I didn't. So if you're blessed with a family member, say it today how much you love them because you don't know about tomorrow. I'm gonna take you to the kitchen that I can definitely work. I can work that kitchen, come on. This is my cookbook cover, La Belle Cuisine cookbook. I'm the hot pepper queen, as you know. And every show that I do, loads of, well, I don't know how many fans I have, but they always bring me hot sauce. See the whoop ass hot sauce? It's like about seven of those, and they really do whoop your butt. And I have um, food on that table. I'm cooking for the crew today. So I've made the macaroni and cheese, and that's my fried chicken that I floured and seasoned. Before I get the hot, hot peppers in a bottle, here's a hot pepper. <laughs> She's not in a bottle. That's my friend Mariah. She calls me her godmother, and I'm to teach her how to cook one day. <laughs> one day, but every night I cook, I look at her and say, girlfriend, will you ever learn? Okay, I'm coming upstairs to my bedrooms <laughs> and my dressing rooms. That's Todd. <laughs> and this is some of my drag. This is my Grammy dress that I wore at the Grammys um, with Christina and Lil' Kim, Pink, and Maya. I didn't wear this on stage, but I wore it on the red carpet. And I got raised from Joan Rivers. I'm scared of her. That's my girlfriend. These pumps. Todd got me in Italy. They're beautiful. My jean shoes with lips. This is where I sleep. But the thing that I love more about this room than my bed would be these pumps. They're Dolce & Gabbana, six inch heel, and they're all silk ribbon. And they're just fierce. I'm scared of this pump. Thank you. And this is Donna. She's like a flower. She's my friend who helps me in my house. My bed that I just get in and watch this TV. I used to have like a five inch TV that I thought I was cool <laughs> with. And then somebody turned me on to these big things. And I said, that's cute. So I got a few. And I stay up here and I watch TV with my fried chicken <laughs> and my pumps. This is um, my little backyard area, sort of. I have kennels built for my dogs. This is Bolo. This is Wasabi. She's a hot mama, Wasabi. This is Chi Chi. That mommy too King Question. And this is Big Papa. Rain is down in her own little cage because she's going through that woman thing. And these male dogs are trying to jump her, okay? She's my first dog and she's my precious little angel. This is my swimming pool that I look at every day because it's pretty. I can't swim. So I look at the water and I relax myself by looking. I plan to take swimming lessons maybe in about two weeks. <laughs> and I'll learn how to get in the little baby in. Swim on, y'all. <laughs> oh, and that's not, this is how you swim, not like that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you my cars. This is the Corvette. I usually ride in with the top down. Hat on that I pinned to my head. This is, I call it a tigger, but it's really a tiger. The thing that really makes me feel special and cute and really, really young is the motorcycle. It's a ninja, and I get on this sucker and tear this block up. I ride around the neighborhood. I can't even do it because the Corvette's in the way, so psych, I can't drive today, all right? But I do know how to do this. I ride like this. Yeah. say this has been another blessing. Thank you for coming to my house. See ya. I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you, dogs.